Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone apps that will make your iPhone more worth its money, allow you to do more with your iPhone, add new extra features to your iPhone and of course more capabilities and allow you to do much much more with the iPhone that you probably have paid quite a lot of money for. Now before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys to quickly leave a like on this video, that really helps out a lot and of course will help the video and the channel do much much better so if you appreciate the work make sure you smash the like button all right we're starting things off with top cleaner of course you get an iphone and you have a ton of stuff on it you have apps you have of course like photos and screenshots and contacts and all that you're on out of memory you probably have a ton of photos and videos that you don't need on your iphone this app will help you clean space on your iphone now what it does it will find similar photos duplicate videos also similar screenshots and empty and duplicate contacts on your device once you open the app this is what you will see you go ahead and enable any of these of course and you tap let's scan now what it does it automatically will scan your photos library and find pictures that are very similar to one another you can see right there it has found 11 contacts and also it has found duplicate photos which add up to more than 800 megabytes so just like that of course i can tap there to review those photos and just tap here clean up and it will clean 868 megabytes from my device. Screenly is the next app for the video. How many times you have shared a screenshot on your social media? You take a screenshot of something that you like or you're interested in, you share the screenshot and it doesn't actually look that good. With Screenly, you can actually put that into an iPhone frame or whichever other device you have. So you go ahead and tap right here and you will get this screen right there. You can go ahead and tap here to change the device, so choose which device you actually want to use you have browsers here you have computers and of course you will have tablets as well once you have found the device that you want to place the screenshot in you tap right here to load the picture and once you have loaded the picture that you will actually share it looks like this you can go back and of course customize this you can customize the background right here or you can remove the background completely like this it looks really really cool you can even add something you can write something and of course change the title there and of course the subtitle as well you can remove them or enable or disable them from here and of course customize them all in here now once you're done with that you're good to go you have now your screenshot placed into a device frame and it actually looks really really good all you gotta do now is just tap that little button right there and you will have this saved under the library of your iphone Next up is an app called Easy Picture in Picture. As you probably know, YouTube doesn't offer the picture in picture mode yet on iPhones. It will be soon here, but as of now, you have this as the best option. Now I can play a video on Safari from YouTube and you can enable the picture in picture mode with actually one click you can see right there you will get that new button once you have installed this extension and simply by tapping there you will go to the picture in picture mode of course you can get out of here you can go on the home screen of your device and of course you will still have right there the picture in picture video now once you have installed the app into your device what you need to do is just open safari and tap on the dots on actually the aa letters right there and then go to manage extensions and make sure you have easy picture in picture enabled and then you're good to go anytime you play a video you will get this button that lets you quickly go to the picture in picture mode the next app for the video is called QR Pop. This is a QR code app that will allow you to create a QR code for basically anything you want on your device. Now, first of all, from the app, you can make a QR code for a URL, a text, a Wi-Fi network so that you can easily share your Wi-Fi network without having to give out your passcode. And also, you can create a contacts QR code from here. You can add all the information and then share this as a QR code, of course, and all the information will be there. You can also use this from a share sheet or enable it as a QR code extension on Safari. So let's say you're on Safari and you want to share a link using QR code. All you gotta do is just tap the AA button and just tap right here. Just like that, you will now have a QR code that will automatically be created to actually share this website. Next up is Start Search. 
This will make searching the internet way more easier than it is right now because you will have everything in one place. It also offers this cool home screen widget which allows you to start searching from the home screen and also have quick access to all of your bookmarks right there. Now once you want to start searching all you got to do is go into the app or just tap right there at the top of the widget and from here you can search anything you want so let's say i want to search for iReviews right here what i gotta do now is choose where i want to search i can search google or youtube or maybe even twitter and do that directly from here without having to go into any other app and you can see it will do the search actually on twitter it will redirect you directly to the app now if you go to the settings here you will have your search engines and of course you can go ahead and add more here and choose of course between them and your favorite ones you can then go ahead and search directly from there now right here we'll have your bookmarks of course you can add more bookmarks right here and have them right here ready to go whenever you need to open any of them and of course the first four of them will also be shown right on the home screen so you can have quick access to them from anywhere on your device the next app for the video is a keyboard app called YU. This is very useful. You will have all the info that you use daily right on your keyboard without having to type them again and again on your device. Now just tapping the globe right here will take you to this new keyboard and this is what you have right here. You have your clipboard. Of course, you can go ahead and choose anything from here. These can be edited and added, of course, on the app. I will show you guys how to do that. Then you will have here your copy and paste so if you have anything copied on your clipboard you can quickly input them from here on this on this app and then of course save them and then you will have here all the different information maybe your id card you need to enter that do that from here your home address you just tap right there and the address will be added you will also have here a search field and you will have your bookmarks as well so if you go to search here anything that's in your clipboard will be basically be searched directly right here on the keyboard and that makes it very very easy or if you go here you will have a translator that of course lets you translate right on the keyboard of your device now moving into the app you can see what you will have here this is the clipboard that you have of course you can add more stuff here or you can go ahead and delete the older ones and if you go here you will have your basically shortcuts you can add other information that you might need to have on handy and then they will appear right there and you can go ahead and quickly add them anywhere you want next up is an app called video recorder now this was an app that actually cost ten dollars but right now at this moment it is free on the app store so make sure you go ahead and grab it right now it allows you to shoot videos on 4k and have all the different options in manual anything from exposure to the shutter speed to the iso to white balance focus everything here is on manual you tap on one of them right there and you will have the slider right here in this case we have the focus slider we can focus in and out from there or zoom in and out and do anything manually directly from here as you can see anything can be done manually now if you go right here to the frames per second and the resolution you can change the aspect ratio you can change between a ton of different resolutions and of course frames per second as well really cool app and of course a bunch of options if you just like to shoot videos and have all the settings in your hand so you can manually configure them then this is the app for you next up is media converter most likely when you want to convert a video or maybe music or even photos you will go ahead and download an application on your computer or your laptop well with media converter you can do all of that on your iphone you can convert videos you can convert photos and of course music as well all you gotta do is just go ahead and load any of the files that you want to convert in this case we want to convert this video choose the video and of course from here you will get anything that you need to know you can see right there that's the original one it's an mp4 format so we can go ahead and change that to another format from here convert file and you're good to go of course it will show you here an ad and now just wait for the file to convert and of course you will have it ready to be saved on your device so right now it is converted we can tap save and you're good to go you will have the video now converted on your gallery 
The next app for the video is called Readme. This is probably one of the most simple apps that you will see on the App Store and the interface only has one button right here to paste anything you have copied on your clipboard and then of course a button here to read. It will basically read out loud anything that you paste right here. Now of course that can be done with iOS as well but that feature is a bit more complicated probably for most users. So if you want to have a simple app that reads anything you want out loud just go ahead paste right here anything you want tap read and your iphone will read for you anything you need and last but not least is an app called exit viewer now i know currently most iphone users are not on ios 15. i believe right now ios 15 is in about 30 percent of devices so not a lot of people are updating because if you did you would have this as a default feature on ios 15. But if you don't have iOS 15 and you want to know all the details regarding any of the videos or photos you have on your camera roll, then you can install this app for free. And of course, it will give you all the different information that you need to know for any of the pictures and videos that you have on your camera roll. And of course, just load any picture. You will have everything right here. Starting, of course, from the basic information like the model of the camera, you can see right there, the aperture, the ISO, and then, of course, all the other informations like the flash, color space, you will have the contrast right there, everything will be here. All the different details regarding any picture will be shown by this app. So that is it for this video guys, these are 10 iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must have and they will make your iPhone more worth its money as you can do more with your iPhone by using these apps. Thank you guys for watching the video, if you enjoyed the apps make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and of course if you want to download any of them make sure to check out the pinned comment.